Hi everybody, welcome back for a, another video. I have here um, a package that I have, okay, it is May 24th, 20, 25th, it's May 25th. I have had this in my possession since the first week of April. So, what is that, two months? And all I did, was this to it. You, you've you seen a little preview video on Instagram from even like a few weeks after it arrived. Um, and I have just been so busy and I just haven't unboxed this. So you can see it came from Baumkuchen. It even has their lovely little puppy stamp right here. Of course, they're lovely paper, and I'm gonna pull this out and save the box and the paper for journaling later. The card says change is the only constant. I love their, their cards. So we'll set that aside. And some of you might know what this is if I flip it sideways. Dun, 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 dun. Traveler's Notebook Passport Limited Edition Traveler's Records. Um, I got mine a little bit after uh, a bunch of videos have had gone up. And so I just, I just didn't bother filming an unboxing because there were so many unboxings. And um, I decided with everything that's going on right now in the world, I thought I would bring everybody back to what I originally started doing on this YouTube channel, was unboxing of Traveler's Notebooks of various brands. Um, I haven't done many of those the last few years because I've purchased hardly any. Um, Let's see. And it's kind of funny. I do have something coming probably sometime next week, so there will be two. <laughs> um, let's see. We're going to take off the twine. And I'm going to... Uh-oh. Lila's on a chair next to the table. She sees me playing with twine. She's gonna try and jump up here to get it. I have a candle up to prevent her from coming because she doesn't like a, a certain candle. <laughs> so I have it on the table. So, and I'm gonna save this paper and of course the sticker and the washi tape. I've seen many unboxings of these, but um, you know, I decided to to wait on mine, and you know, with everything that's been going on in the news, I, I just wanted a little. Oh, for some reason, I thought that was an extra sleeve on there. Okay, so it's. Oh, I see. I see. I see. It's. A box. I think I open it down here. Anyone else have trouble getting into their box? <laughs> I want to save the box. I don't want to. Oh, I guess it does come out the top. Ooh. Love this box, and so there there were four special editions. There was two standard size, and and I think two passport, Traveler's Record, Traveler's Airline, Traveler's Hotel, and Traveler's Train. And this one 
you'll see is the camel leather. And and I I like the old camel leather from the original and from the the second version. The newer camels, I have one. I have a um Ace Hotel one. And that is so suede-like and, and it's it's not my favorite texture. So I was a little worried that this might be like that. So let's just take a look at the, the box. It says, keep on traveling in your mind with Traveler's Notebooks. With Traveler's Notebooks in your imagination, you can travel anywhere at any time. Traveler's Notebook Limited Edition. And then here on the back, the Traveler's Notebook logos, and then the Traveler'sCompany.com. Okay, let's open this. So everything is individually wrapped. So why don't we take, and that's empty, take these out. I like the box. So the first thing I want to look at are the stamps. I've seen Job use these stamps quite a bit, and I think I'm going to like them because they're music related. Ooh, Traveler's Records, and you can see there's a record there and you can, you know, write the song or put a sticker of a label if you want to, um, you know, print one out the right size. Oh, here you go. This is what it looks like when you stamp it. Traveler's record, and there's the record. And the second one is a cassette tape. And I think it's very funny because so many people that use Traveler's Notebooks never ever had to use a cassette tape. And I still have cassette tapes. I just, I find it so kind of ironic, but I love it. Love it. So there are the stamps. I don't even know if I'm in the, in the shot. Yes, I am. Okay, we'll put the stamps right up there. Now, this I think is like stickers or something like that maybe? Let's see. I think there's like three or four stickers. Ooh, look at the gold. It says Traveler's Rectors, and it's an old um, Victrola. And it's actually one of the ones that plays the, um, the cylinder. A friend of mine um, has uh, a huge collection of the Edison tubes. They came in like blue, red, green, amber. And I remember, if I can find a photo, I'll see if I can put one in here. Um, it'll be from years ago when we were going through her parents' things. Um, he was a jazz musician that owned a, a, a jazz club on Route 66 in Amarillo, and they had so many of those. else do we have? Traveler's Records. Does anybody ever use these stickers? I, I've always wondered that because I haven't. Add some music to your trip. There's an accordion, a guitar, a harmonica, and a trumpet. Yeah, there are four stickers because here's the last one. And it says, have a nice trip with Traveler's Company. Good music. And it's a, a portable we used to call these when I was a kid a boom box, and I had one that looked exactly like this. It was a Sony. That is like a trip down memory lane. I got that thing in like 1982 or 83, and some of the first cassette tapes 
these things I remember getting were, I got Cindy Lauper's very first album, She's So Unusual. I got Madonna's first album and also Like a Virgin. Michael Jackson's um, Thriller album. I got a Billy Joel album that it was uh, from a few years earlier. Um, I remember also getting something by Culture Club. Um, and then also Prince, a Prince album. Uh, it, it wasn't 1999, it was the one before that. Controversy. Yeah. Wow. The early 80s. Bringing back my childhood. Wow. Those are cool. Now this, I think, is the charm. And the charm is a record. And I think it moves or does something. And they've got it all wrapped up so pretty and special. Let's see. Ooh. It does. So if I'm... I'm going to show this. So see how there's this hole here? That fits on the elastic. And if you look... It spins so you can wicka 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 woo. You can pretend you're a, a DJ. This really, ha it had a lot of fingerprints on it. I'm really kind of surprised. I'm gonna wipe it off on my, my shorts. Yeah, it had quite a bit of fingerprints on it for being brand new and boxed. That's very cool. So we'll set that over there. And then, the thing we came for. Oh, I normally, when you get a traveler's notebook, you get something like this, and it's just a thin piece of paper that has this information on it, like talking a little bit about your notebook. But, you'll see they have all of this information inside in Japanese and in English. And it's saying all of the things that you get. The, the leather cover, the cotton bag, spare rubber band, traveler's notebook refill, stickers, stamps, and charm. And then some information. And then it gives you a variety of things that you can buy for your traveler's notebook. And let's go inside. I love this green elastic. This is kind of like the elastic that came with the olive. It's one of my favorite colors. And I love the green bag. My Ace Hotel notebook came with a green bag. One thing to remember is to keep this elastic. You can use it as an extra closure elastic. Uh, for your TN, but for right now I'm just gonna set it over here. I love the green bags because number one the green bags tend to be a little bit bigger um, And this one tends to be a little bit more olive or like a deep color So let's see So it is it does feel very suede like You can actually see if you look here See how it darkens and it's an embossing that says, have a nice trip with good music, Traveler's Company, Traveler's Record. I think I like this embossing better than the other ones that have the gold because the gold flakes off and it ends up looking like this anyways. And so I would rather have it just look like that. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of suede-like. Not my favorite, but you know, that's okay. And the insert, oh, there's a special piece of paper in the front and the back. Oh, look at that. It looks like the back of a cassette tape. And this is the front of the cassette tape and there's the cassette inside. It says side A in the front. It's got to say side B in the back, right? 
side B in the back. That is awesome. Okay, a lot of thought went into this. That is very cool. I wonder if they put the paper in in order to protect the cover of this from either getting on the leather or the leather from getting on it. Very cool. Now, one thing I remember when I got my very first Traveler's Notebooks, they always had a little plastic bag that had two elastics in it. It had another one of the same color, and then it would have like a, an alternate color. Like the brown one came with a brown elastic and an orange elastic, and then you had an extra brown elastic. Um, like when the Pan Am came out, it had um, a little plastic bag that had two blues, and then there was the one that was, you know, on the packaging. And one thing that I've noticed is they've stopped doing that in recent years. They give you this and this, and that's it. While the other, you'd still have two extra elastics. Um, so, yeah. So I find that interesting. Because I have tons of little baggies of elastics left that I, I still go back to and I still use. So I have no idea what I'm going to do with this Traveler's Notebook. I don't know how I'm going to use it. Um, I'm gonna add it to my collection because actually right now I'm using a cork folio Traveler's Notebook. I'm using a cork folio, and I've got a olive zipper pouch in. Um, and this is what I'm using right now at the moment. Um, but who knows? I might move into this sometime during the summer. Maybe one book July, I'll have it be my one book. But look how beautiful that is. You can even see like where the the needle and the arm are. And that looks like it's a 33 and a third record. It's not a 45. Very cool. You see there's uh, eighth notes here. This one looks like it might be 16th notes, but because of the embossing, it looks like it's it could be eighth notes. So I just wanted to do a quick little unboxing for you guys today. No, no, Lila, you stay down. <laughs> She's trying to jump up here. There's like lights and everything. It would just, it would be a mess if she did that. So with her getting antsy, I will end the video there. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment down below. I purchased this from Baumkuchen. I know that they, um, I know like the Traveler's Company sold out, but I know there's some independent stores that still have a few. So if if I can find it on Baumkuchen, I will link it there, but I will also link Baumkuchen anyways because that's where I, I purchased this from and I, I really love their store. Um, so there you are. If you have any questions, like I said, leave a comment down below and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.